In this video, we'll see how to edit the weighted totals column in your Grade Center. So in your course, go down to the Course Management section, and in the Control Panel section, click on Grade Center, and then we're going to choose Full Grade Center. You'll see that it's created a weighted total column for us already. So if I hover over that, I see this down arrow to the right of it. I will click on that and choose Edit Column Information. Now I'm going to show my grades in percentages, so I'll leave all of that the same. And then I'll scroll down to Selected Columns section. And you can see that there's two sections here. There's Columns to Select and Categories to Select. So the Columns to Select are the individual assignments that you already have in your Grade Center, whereas Categories to Select are categories that are already created in Blackboard, or you can create your own categories. So for example, you're going to have a group of assignments that are averaged to be part of the weighted total. So let's say, for example, I have three tests I'm giving this semester, and the average of those tests will be 30% of their grade, or the average of the discussion board posts will be whatever percentage. So let's start by picking a few of the items, individual assignment items. I'll click on Introductions because that's part of their grade. And then I click this small right arrow and it moves it over to the selected columns box. Then I'll click on final paper and click the right arrow again. So now I have those two assignments as part of the weighted total. Now I'm going to pick some of the categories. So we're having three tests. I'll click on that and click the right arrow to move it over. And they're going to be writing a blog. So I'll click on that and click over here. They have to actually do five blog posts this semester. And then one last thing, they do have to participate, oh, class, dis, uh, class participation. So I'll click on that and click the right arrow. And now you can see all of the items that will be part of the weighted total. And so I'll enter in the percentage for each of them. So let's say introductions is 10%, type in 10%, the final paper is 25%. The blogging they do all semester is 30%. Class participation is 20%. And now you can see at the bottom it's keeping track of how much it's totaling. So right now I have 85%. So I'll have test B, 15% of the grade. So now I'm at 100%. I can actually leave everything else the way that it is. And I will click Submit. And now it calculates the weighted total for us. So that's based off of the weighting that I just gave it, what their final grade would be in the course. 